Hi, my name is Dr. Cora Collette Bruner. I'm a professor of adolescent and pediatric medicine and an adjunct professor of orthopedics and sports medicine. I have a master's degree at public health and I work at Seattle Children's Hospital and the University of Washington. I will spend some time talking today about cyberbullying and plan to talk about the, the numbers that we see, how we can recognize it, and what we can do to stop it. Cyberbullying is a problem. And cyberbullying is different from bullying that we might have recognized when we were younger. This is something that happens on the internet. It happens anonymously. And when it does happen, it can spread like wildfire. How often does it occur? Well, it happens as young as six, seven, and eight years of age. Sadly, what happens is little kids get teased on the internet, and then it gets more and more each year. When children get to be about eight to 12, it seems to happen about 10 to 15% of the time. And by a teenager, time, they can be teased up to 30 to 40 percent. And most of the time, if someone is teased on the internet, it can stop by itself. But the outcomes for some of our teenagers can be fatal. And we do know that, and it's very sad when we hear that these things have been going on. So what happens? What can we do to recognize it, and how can we prevent it? Well, we do know that only one in five kids actually intervene and try to stop it from happening. That means 80% of the time, our kids might be witnessing someone being teased on the internet and don't do anything about it. And that's so sad because we know that if we do get kids to intervene, over 50% of the time, the bullies will stop bullying. If a bully has no audience, a bully will not continue to bully. They need someone to fuel the flame and get them to continue to do this, or they stop. So what do we know about bullies? We know that about 80% of bullies were bullied themselves. We know that if we can get a bully to stop bullying, we can help other children. And we also know that if we help kids who are bullied, we can prevent a potential bully from occurring. What do we do about that, and how do we do it? Well, we can do this by doing role playing at home. At the dinner table, we might be able to say to our kids, what would you do if you saw one of your friends being teased? Or you were sitting with them playing a video game and then all of a sudden notice that somebody was sending a message to them anonymously. What would you do? And you can actually teach your own child what to do to intervene and have a discussion about it ahead of time so that if they do see it, they can stop it. Is this preventable? Yes. Is cyberbullying stoppable? Yes, we need to take control of this action in our homes, in our offices, in our workplaces, and in the community, and we can make cyberbullying stop.